Hi, my name is Kaysen. Hi, my name is Anna Lisa. Hi, my name is Peyton. And we're fifth graders at OC Taylor. And we're here live with Tiger Time News. Monday, April 3rd is Rangers opening day celebration. If you have a baseball shirt, feel free to wear it. Also on Monday, PTA Executive Board will meet at 8.15. Wednesday, April 5th is Walk to School Day. Wear red and warm-ups for American Heart Association. Thursday, April 6th, we will have a choir practice from 2.55 to 4 o'clock. Friday, April 7th, our choir will perform at 2 o'clock. And Running Club will meet from 3 o'clock to 4 o'clock p.m. Hi boys and girls, Coach Mester here. I wanted to talk to you about next Wednesday, April the 5th. It is National Walking Day and the American Heart Association sponsors this day to promote uh, the health benefits of walking. And so we're gonna walk to school, uh, wear red, wear a pedometer or a Fitbit if you have one, uh, so you can count your steps. We'll be getting the morning, on uh, the morning show with the cha-cha slide, everybody in their classroom. Um, teachers, when they take you out for recess, I would love for the students, boys and girls, show your teachers some of the exercises that we do in PE. Um, I'm sure they know how to do jumping jacks and the exercises that they grew up doing, but I bet maybe your teachers don't know how to do a mummy kick. They may not know how to do a sailor push-up. They may not know how to do ski abs. So teach them some of those exercises that we do that they may not know how to do, all right? Um, again, walking to school Wednesday, April the 5th, okay? Take a walk after school with your family. Take your dog for a walk, all right? Um, teachers might even be doing some go noodle in the classroom with you uh, as a short little brain break, okay? So have a great day. We'll see you there. The annual Rachel's Challenge Rally is coming up this month. On April 29th, GCISD is hosting the Rally and 5K in the parking lot of Colleyville Heritage High School. Walk-up registration will be from 7 to 7.45 a.m. and the 5K will begin at 8. The community rally or fair is from 9 to 11. There will be booths from all of the GCISD schools along with many community businesses that will be giving out freebies. We will kick off the rally with a time-chipped 5K run, which is open to all registered runners and walkers. Registration information can be found on the GCISD website. The race registration fees for adults and students who want the race t-shirt will be $20. But if you are a GCISD student or employee and you want to run in the 5K but do not want a t-shirt, you may do that free of charge. The rest of the rally, including the community fair, is free. Students can walk around the booths and get stamps on their passports. And then, with those stamps, they can enter to win door prizes and giveaways. The deadline to register for the 5K and get a t-shirt for the race is April the 6th, so sign up today. On that note, we're also selling this year's new Green Rachel's Challenge t-shirt, which is different from the rally shirt. If you're interested in purchasing one for yourself or for your students, then um, the order form is on your teacher's newsletters. And also, at the end of the video, there will be an end card. Do you want to help your child pick out their next library book? There's an app for that. Destiny, Destiny Quest. Quest! How many pages can you read in one minute? I don't know. What if you read 20 to 30 minutes per day? How many pages could you read in a week? Well, all GCISD students have been working on the GCISD Reads Challenge this academic school year. Kindergarten, first, and second grade have been challenged to read 1,500 pages. Well, third, fourth, and fifth grade students were challenged to read 2,500 pages. If you have already reached your GCISD Reads goal, keep reading. See how many pages you can read in one school year. First grade is learning about chicks. We got the eggs from a farm. We are going to watch them to, to see if they will hatch. We candled them yesterday and all of them were living. After we candled them, we put them in the incubator. In seven days, we will candle them again. And after 14 days, they should make the first pick. We're all very excited. You can watch with us on our webcam. Yay! It's a baby chick hatching. No, it's a dinosaur. Oh! <laughs> well, for Tiger Time News, at OC Taylor, we love learning. We think.
make it great. <laughs>